Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Blasphemous 2. Last time we left off, we finally got the ability that I have sought after for oh so long. And you knocked me into the other room, you jackass. Uh, so we're gonna have a exploration episode, methinks. Seems like a good call to me. There's a lot of places where we need to be able to do that. So why don't we just go ahead and take care of some of them? The first being right here, which we did last time, so I actually don't need that one there anymore. But there is another quick one uh, up here. Just to make sure I did not get it. Uh, I don't think I did get this one. So uh, I do think we need that um, kill. So what is the point of that thing? Oh, that was needed to do this thing faster, that's right, so. Let's just jump up this way. Yellow. Uh-huh. Ow. I still love the parry weapon against you because it's so easy to bait you into just getting messed up. Or I can just hit you right the first time. Cool. Uh, boom. Pick me up. I feel the need to go up here first, but this is probably a dead end room. We should hit this first. Or it's totally not. Okay, fine. If you want to be that way, be that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, hi, you. You little wax idiots. Hate them so much. Ow. Nothing else going on here? I think we're good. So, I need to add that this had a locked door. That's what that was, which looks like I need to come around from the other end. Uh, that is not what I meant to do. I pressed the wrong button. Okay, we need to use this. Uh-huh. Ow. Cool. Owie. Okay, okay. Recover, recover. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, come on. Stop being annoying. There we are. Oh, that was a... That was a execute on one of you. Haven't gotten that before, I don't feel. Alright, so that takes us over here, which I can now use to drop down to this place. That's quite nice. Here I was saying we are gonna do a lot of, uh... A lot of, uh, skipping around and stuff, but no. I needed to just do these. Votive offering claimed by rust significantly increases elemental resistance forgotten offering whose rusty figure vaguely resembles a heart it hung on the walls of the holiest churches even when no one remembered the reason for its forging it thus accumulated decades of useless prayers dedicated to the corpse of a cause okay so equip looking good all right, now we can actually start exploring places because, uh, yeah, there's a lot of places I need to go, so. Okay, we never went to the right out of the boss fight, which this just looks like it leads to a locked door, but opening up shortcuts is not a bad thing. Ooh, hi, though. Penitent one, you emerge from the tower that has always been believed to have been severed, but a few among us know that in truth, it was the miracle that nailed it face down. Cast your eyes upon our shop window. I will cast my eyes upon your shop window. Oh god, we have a wax seed. Oh god, okay. I'll go give that to friend. Even though I really, really don't want to have to. We have no more items left. But you never know what may turn up on these paths. Pray, 
Come back later, penitent one. Can't believe I bought that wax seed forever ago, and it only just now became useful this late in the game. Pain. All right, here we go. This is an area with these that I had not accessed before. I just got to get hit by a ton of wax trying to do it. Um, okay. Where you at? Mm-hmm, that's not that bad. Go away. Ow. Okay. Mm-hmm. Cute. Adorable, even. Got it. Don't know why I felt the need to do a charge attack there. It just- it just felt right, you know? Sometimes it just feels right. Got it. And bang. Just gonna go ahead and hit you with one of those. Ow, that still clipped me. Uh... Oh, you don't care about that, that's right. You resisted the hell out of that. Owie. Okay, it's dead. Slug Priest is dead. Ooh, an empty receptacle. That's a good get. That's a real good get. Oh, I died. <laughs> The, uh, the big, the big slug priest comboed me by knocking me into his hurt box with his fire, and then, and then that finished me off. I was being very ballsy, though. I don't normally take the enemies super seriously when I'm just running around like this. There we go, I got a mark of martyrdom. Um, I also realized when you actually use the blood pacts, you know, it makes sense, but it does actually hurt you. Um, I realized... I was low health when I died to that one thing, and I realized that was why. Um, because yeah, whenever you use the blood pact, yeah, it's a lot of extra damage, but it does hurt you. I hate those enemies so much when I'm not using my other weapon. They're the worst. When you're not using that. Um... Huh. How? Mm hmm. I have... One idea, I don't know if it'll work, though. Um... I don't think that'll work. So there's a rising... Ooh, increases base defense. Um... Crimson Ascension. I don't think that works in the air, right? Because I could use that for platforming if it did. Hits during Blood Pact, regenerate my health. That I definitely want. Increases the duration. Partially consumes the gauge. Eh. Let's get this. Okay, that seems pretty cool. That was three? Oh my god. Okay, so this. Like, how am I gonna get up there? Oh, they carry me. Okay, that's how that's supposed to work. Okay, that makes that makes sense then. I didn't realize they were actually going up. Whoa, I just guessed. I just guessed. I just thought while I'm up here, might as well hit that. Holy shit, thank you. All right, back here at the sunken cathedral. There's some stuff. I wonder how you know which ones will carry you, or do you just wait to see? I guess you just wait to see. Okay, that opens that gate. Now I just need to actually get down there. That's good. So that so that is now open. We don't need this anymore. Um, let's go over here and just grab whatever this is really quickly. I tell you, Ruego's growing on me, you know? I know, big shock. Once I actually give the weapon a fair shake, it's it's growing on me now. Funny how that works. Holy shit, if these assholes will die, that'll make my life a lot easier. Alright. Uh-huh. Get me over here. I'm so excited to kill you. Been waiting a very, very long time for this. 
Goodbye. Mark of Martyrdom. Yay. Okay, so that's what we got there. Um, I still need to get back to this room, though. So we can take care of this. Now, the problem is I can't drop from here. I don't think. No, I can right here. Never mind. Totally forget everything I just said. I'm an idiot. Don't. I don't trust these walls anymore. I've seen too many hidden walls now. I no longer trust walls. But yeah, let's uh, use the blood packs here. Yeah, see, it damages you a little bit. That's why they made it so you can heal. I suppose. Wait, another? Oh, interesting. I mean, we still have more of the, like, little Colosseum things to do with that character, don't we? So maybe there are more s- maybe- yeah, I guess- I guess there were more sisters, because I already had three. And then it gives us, like, a little- if I remember correctly, that was the thing that was, like, a Colosseum, right? Unless I'm misremembering. Alright, so we should be able to do this room now. That my little friends are here. And this will allow us to get in here and grab you. Another wax seed. I wonder how many of them we actually need. Would three be enough or four? I'll, I'll wait until we finish up our exploration here. Um, before I go and check that, yeah? That way I only have to see the jackass once. Ah, <sighs> look at how nice and clean this map is down there. Oh, you just, you just love everything about seeing it. Alright, so we're back here where we started the game. You know, interesting stuff. Always at where you started in Metroidvanias. Kind of a trope. Okay, you're gonna go up. That... Okay, yeah. Mark of Modernum. I'll take it. I'm gonna be so sad when I finally get the upgrades for Sarmiento and Centella. Because uh, I'm putting a lot of points into Ruego right now. But we have a lot of points to spin. Yeah, so... I like Crimson Cleaver, that sounds cool. Because, yeah, I mean, just doing just doing a three-hit combo gets you a strong attack, That that's good. Ooh, hi! Have I found that before? I must not have, because it wasn't revealed. I was just going past here, and I was like, wait a minute. So... that's how we get through this damn door. Oh my god, I could have got this way earlier. At least it's just a mark. Nothing crazy like a vessel receptacle or anything like that. That would have been maddening if that was the case, but yeah, we could have gotten that way earlier. Alright. Alright, so here. Uh-huh. Ah. Just another, uh, another Son of the Miracle there. Alright. Here we are at some more of these. Um, these can actually be a little bit weird because those weren't starting. You do have to actually find the beginning. And then they have, like, a trail that they go through that you have to follow. Specifically if you want to activate them. So where is the bell here? Because I do need the bell. Um, did I miss it somewhere? Obvious. I mean, there's one. Mm hmm. Let's hit you one more time just to be sure. Uh huh. That didn't reach all the way up there. Huh. Am I gonna get through that door then? I mean, is there a better bell anywhere around here? I don't suppose I, there's a bell I can bring over. This just makes you go up and down. Is this bell... Is that one gonna seriously go all the way up there? It is indeed. Go, 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 go. Okay, that's, that's the one I had to use. Not the one down there, that one. Okay, cool. Solved. Okay, that one just required jumping and dashing to get to. So, cool. Um... Ooh, you gotta be very, very fast on that. Okay. Right, climb up there, Penitent One, please. Thank you. 
All right, so yeah, you gotta be real fast to catch it. Oh, I thought it was gonna go up for some reason. 5,000 Tears of Atonement. I hate that your projectiles go through walls. Alrighty. Here we are at this one, which is actually an item. A wax seed. Okay. That's four. That we, well, we have three in our inventory, one that we've turned in already. Thought it was high time we go ahead and hit this one, but also, did we, did we find another sister? We, we still have not. Still searching for that one, sorry. Don't mind me. I'll have you all reunited soon. What is the point? <gasps> oh! Oh, I know what the point is. I know what the point is. I absolutely know what the point is. There's that door over there that I've constantly been asking, like, where in the world is the bell to open this door? It's right here. This thing also goes crazy far. So, we keep going down. Go over here. We go down. We get in there. Beautiful. What are you? Toronto to my sister. So that's two markers that we get to get rid of. Oof. You love a twofer. All right. Invokes lightning bolts that pierce the clouds, striking nearby enemies, down nearby enemies with lightning damage. Chant to the storm sung by the broken voice of a legionnaire. All right, here we are at another platforming section. Just gotta dodge some swinging uh, sensor pendulums and we got ourselves another Mark of Martyrdom. All right, can pretty easily grab this now that we have the air dash. Still think I maybe could have jumped off the enemies with uh, the other weapon, but... Aha, so uh, I was actually confused for a second by the map there, but um, there was a jump here that I did that required the dash. We've done that now. And now I can come in here and through here. And this is specifically not an area we've been. The map was confusing me, like I said. It was like saying I was at the wrong part. Alright. So that was just for another Son of the Miracle. Cool. Alright. Here's more of this jumping. And it looks like... Okay, that was the wrong combination of buttons. Uh huh. There we go. So this just looks like it unlocks a door for me, but there is an item. There's another wax seed. Yet another one. Okay. And that was not enough. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're all very, very annoying. It's not enough to stop me from doing my thing over here, though. There we go. That was better. This just leads to a single room with a sealed envelope. That is new. Letter found in a room in the Street of Wakes. It exudes a dark aura of danger. Dear anonymous reader, if thou readest these lines, it is because thine curiosity has suppressed thine will. Thou hast dared to open the sealed letter, thus committing a grave crime and illegitimately taking possession of that which it contains, which is none other than my curse. Thine is now as thine has had been the sin. With these words inscribed in black ink, I curse thee to follow in my footsteps, the fam same footsteps of another sinner I followed in another and another and another, thus perpetuating the curse. The first step of the one who seeks redemption lies in performing an act of humility. For this, thou must seek out the largest looking glass, prostrate thyself before thine reflection, look thyself in the eye, and beg forgiveness. Huh. Cursed letter, page one. Yeah, I have to find a largest looking glass and prostrate myself before my own reflection? How am I cursed? Is the game harder now? How much damage do I take? Hit me. That's not a lot of damage. Huh. These are low-level enemies, though. I don't think... I, I don't I don't know what this curse is. It said the curse was to follow in your footsteps, so... I'm thinking the quote-unquote curse is that I just have to go do what this says. 
Um, also, and here we are at another one of these thingies. There's also the merchant friend over here, which I guess I can go and hit now. I jumped right into that. Um, alright, so... Yeah, I... Th I think I should be able to do this now. Whoop! Oh, so close. Alright, these, these idiots need to die, though. Die. Back in your coffin. And you too. Not dealing with your sickle friend, either. There we go. Alright, so let's give that another shot, why don't we? So, if we do one of those... Dash, jump, dash... Jump! <sighs> you get so close. It has to be possible, though. I just need to time it better, I think. I'll give it one more shot on camera. And we shall see. Boom. Dash. Oh, that feels so dreadfully close. There we go. I just had to delay the dash a little bit. I was dashing too soon. Alright, so we get a fervent kiss for that. Uh, I am gonna go over here and check back in with this shopkeep, just because I do believe I have enough money to buy all of their wares. So, if we head down here, we can grab Zeus. I may have something. Alright, shop. The Punished One. Increase the strength of Ruego Al Alba. Yes. You have acquired the last of my goods. However, we never know when the miracle will bestow new blessings upon us. Okay. And so it was that I managed to get into a house that appeared to be uninhabited. Inside, I found an elderly woman lying on her bed. She had been dead for some time. There was no one standing vigil over her. She was alone. Alone in the deep sleep of death. The fearful stench was so intense that it seemed to emanate from that rigid body and mingle with the light that drifted in through the immaculately pale curtains from the outside street lamps, creating the most dismal of atmospheres I had ever experienced. It was the chamber of death itself. Oh, death, who is ever by my side, you will not have to wait much longer. Ugh, he walks in on someone that had died and the body was decomposing. Yike. I robbed the old woman in her bed. I took from her what was no longer hers, but rather belonged to death itself. When I reached my hiding place, I was racked with terrible pangs of guilt that have not ceased to intensify and ever torment my body and mind. What is this trembling you bring me, O oh death? What is this coldness that I feel both inside and out? Doth thee already seek me? Oh, so much death all around me. So many maggots creeping over so many dead bodies immersed in the mire. So many flies announce the arrival of the rotting queen with their mournful dances and incessant buzzing. Oh. Okay. So you're finally done there. So yeah, you found a... You found a dead person and you robbed them. Yeah? Alright. We're going over here. Oh no, this is the wrong side! Okay, so I gotta- I gotta come from the other end, but all I gotta do is jump to the, uh, other prey do you, so no reason to- No reason to skip here. We just jump over here, and we are good. So down we go. Oh yeah, not these stupid assholes again. God, I hate them. Oh wait, it was the wrong door. We gotta go down a level. 
here. This should be it. Yeah. Okay, and then we just gotta go up there. Oh my god. Okay, I didn't expect how much of a roundabout path I was gonna have to take to actually get over here, to be fair. There we go. Beautiful. Now, what is my item? Holy Oil of Everlasting Anointment. Vial of Consecrated Oil. The priest commissioned perfumers to make oils to anoint the weapons of soldiers in battle, so as to bless their souls and increase their morale. The priest slowly lifted the thick slate that covered the coffin, still covered by the moisture of earth and the dust inside swirled in the air. He introduced a trembling hand under the, under the luxurious liturgic garments that dressed the corpse of the pontiff, looking for something that only he knew was there. A tiny ornate file, whose knot braided in different colors effortlessly unraveled in his hands, dense and dark oils stirred inside the depths of the file. The priest felt a chill and could not help looking at the withered and gray skull of the pontiff. He seemed to regard him from beneath his bl empty blackened sockets. He clenched the flask in his fingers and quickly fled from that place, feeling the cold pontiff stare as a dagger on his back. Lift the slate, cover the coffin. Anoint the weapons of soldiers in battle. Interesting. We do still have to go turn in our fervent kiss as well. Um, Alright, and there's something we're missing over here. Let's go check out what this is. Uh, I think that oil is actually something that comments early on were talking about, which I don't understand why. I think I know what that what that particular item does, and it was a spoiler that was posted by people. Uh, I really have no idea why, because I mean I would have easily found that just exploring the map as normal, so it just seemed kind of pointless. But whatever, people are gonna do what people do. I do have to read comments usually. Because a lot of the time comments are very, very helpful. Sometimes they do spoil things, but, you know. Sometimes people just won't let the game do what the game's supposed to do. And just let it tell its story. But usually they're just looking to help. It's just a lot of the times you don't need help. Of course, sometimes I do. I'm really bothered by this particular place. How do I... How do I get in there? Oh, wait, yeah, we've, we've been over this. It's probably that. Alrighty. Here's another thingy, which... Oh. Oh, is this getting me towards my objective? I think this is. This is taking me towards, like, my next boss fight or whatever. Ooh, okay. Yeah. I think we should be good. Hi. Ow. And... Up here. Okay, this is a whole lot of platforming. There we go. Ooh, a silver-clad crystal shard. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Alright, and then there's still a path we can take up here to this. Ah, yeah, we go up here and see what this is. If I can get a Prey Dew up here... <gasps> Finally! <laughs> How long has it been? My god. Ages. About damn time. At least I'll get to use it before the end of the game now. My goodness. Give. Thank you. Sarmiento and Centella. Bum 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 bum. Alright, so... Good there. We finally have this upgrade. Right as I was, uh, as the other weapon was starting to grow on me. Increases damage when counterattacking with any weapon. Unlocks the second indicator. Increases the base damage. Repeatedly to finish with a powerful onslaught after the fourth hit. Oh yeah. Just give me all of these. Alright. Now we can start rolling these again. Now that we've got some damage upgrades on them. Beautiful. Oh, okay, that didn't actually lead to this. Here I was thinking it was going to. But, uh, yeah. These markers can all go. We are good there. Okay, we'll, we'll figure that out at some point. Um, 
Still a few more things we can go get into though. Oh, you look great. You look great. Here you go. Now I shall grant thee a new flask. Thank you. Bring me more. I will do that. Here you go. Here's a crystal shard too. With this crystal, I must Thank you. Now my flasks are better. One more mark on thy vials would crack their surface and contaminate their blood. Ah, so that's that's probably the max for those. Uh, I still don't know what this does, but sure. Here you go. Enjoy that. You know what, to wrap things up, why don't we go do this and then we can go see about the, the thing I was talking about with the with the sisters. So let's get our increased fervor. Mwah, 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 mwah. Feel your f mine own. Uh huh. Bye. Oh, hey, the door's open. Or, or no, never mind. <laughs> I'm used to seeing like a gate there to signify that doors are closed, but that that door is just locked. I mean, you'd think penitent one could, you know, like kick it down, but no. All right. So hi. Let's go ahead and get back in here and see what else we got. I have an upgraded Sarmiento and Centella now, so... Oh, you know we're about to destroy people. Yeah, so there's a challenge for each sister that we purge. May the bells... Yeah. Let's do it. I don't even remember what I got as a reward. Sink into a sea of mourning. I don't remember what I got as a reward for the first one of these. But whatever. Fight me! Well, that's certainly a block. Okay, you know. Um, I should probably also put on my correct prayer. Um, this is a veredicto problem. Anytime there's flying enemies, it's a veredicto problem. Or an enemy that I don't want to get close to. Uh-huh. Okay, this though? Sarmiento problem. Uh-huh. Or, quite frankly, a magic problem. That too. Mm -hmm. Good. Let's go ahead and hit you with one of those really quick. Just to clean you out. Bye bye. Oh, it's just one of you? Okay, one of you with one of you is slightly problematic. God, these are very, very good now. The Thirst. That's what I got for it. I got a sculpt. Sculpture. God. I got a sculpt. Yeah, that's what they're called. Cool. So what's my, what's my new thingy do? Uh, let's see. The Thirst is what it was called. Increases damage dealt when bile flasks are depleted by 20%. That's pretty good. That's a boss killer. Nothing will quench this thirst. I can't bear the parched aridity of my tongue, this burning in my throat, this claw that clutches my insides. I drink the purest water, enough to drown in it, but the thirst won't go away. Water tastes like scorched soil. And the more I drink, the more I feel I take part in my own burial. Why, O oh miracle of mine, why this cruelty, why this scorn? What shall I do to earn your forgiveness? That is what we call a speedrunning sculpture. That and, um, Kashtula. I think it was Kashtula. That was basically the red tear stone ring. Oh, I should have refilled my heals. Oh well. I'm good. Let's just go. May the bell. Yep. Bing. And we shall see. 
We shall. We, we, we will do that. You are correct. Okay, they're still charged, so we're good there. Ow. Oh, you're annoying. Oh, you're annoying. Uh-huh. Can I just chill back here? I can. Alright. Alright. Not get hit by that. Thought I could poke your face with these, but, uh... That is evidently not going to work. Goodbye. Let's go ahead and heal now. Ooh, okay. Uh-huh. Ooh, that hit me. Didn't think that had the range. Didn't think that had the range. God, those spears. You bastards. Okay. None of that. Uh-huh. This is a... This problem. To solve. Uh-huh. Who wants some? Who else wants some? Okay, this this definitely needs to be solved by Veridicto. Veridicto is just my problem solver, okay? Good. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. Okay, that's a that's a good reward. All right, another empty receptacle for us. Just making it harder and harder to actually proc the thirst. If I do actually want to use it. Let's just go ahead and grab a quick refill here. And hop back in there. God, I feel absurdly powerful. This game went from being like a really, really punishing Souls-like to a power fantasy <laughs> in one game. <laughs> I feel like a Doom guy running around slaying all these things. May the bell. Uh huh. Bing. And we shall. S and we shall sing. We shall do that. All right. What are we? What are we fighting? One of you. Keeping my range. It's probably good for you. Uh huh. Yeah, Veridicto is just too safe. Like it stuns and it has the range. Uh, it's it's just too good. It really is. It really is well and truly just too powerful. Uh huh. Yep. Nope, not hitting me with that. That's fine. I'll take that. Oh god, I hate these stupid bastards. They were always annoying. Uh-huh. Well, at least we got to use Ruego for a wee bit. I still think it'd be a very, very good boss fight weapon. I'm just not sure if it's going to be better than Sarmiento and Centella. Uh huh. Owie. Did manage to clip me there. Just the jumping and attacking is so, so, so very good. Ow. Damn it, my combo locked me in there and screwed me up. There we go. Takes the slug out. 
more? Nope. That's it. And I get an ornate chalice. So we have even more reason to go back over there. Because I can get some more HP and I can get another receptacle. Alright, we are certainly cleaning up right now. We are doing it to it. Look at us. 85% of the map completed, not even missing that many Sons of the Miracle. And I still have a very, very large amount of the map to look through as well. Let's uh, just go up here really quickly and turn this in. And then we'll be on our way for this episode. Because it's already long. I just, I don't know. I feel like playing some Blasphemous. Blasphemous is fun. What can I say? The prisoner is like, when is this bastard going to come in and confess to his sins? Never. Never. Penitent one says, I don't want to go to church. Yeah. Alright. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Here you go. Yep. Now I shall enhance the vital light within me. Thank you. Have fun continuing to... Is it still called degloving? If it's not your hand, because degloving is when like the the skin you know gets pulled off of your hand, and you know obviously it's called a glove because it's your hand. I guess this is just skinning. What are they gonna Although do with your skin? Making some leather? Does not cease to flow. Your body can take no more of it. That's it. That's all we got. Alrighty. That's all she wrote. Is this the final receptacle? I think all of them have been six upgrades, so that would make sense. There is no more room for vials in thy belt. Well, let's get a new belt then. All right, so we're totally done with you then, huh? No answer. There's nothing to do with you. Let's leave and come back and see if maybe you change in some way. Because we have completely finished you off. The chalice is broken. You are now just a badass skeleton. The chalice is knocked over. Oh, that's cool. Hello. There's got to be more to that. They've almost completely finished de-skinning you. Or rather just skinning you because that's what that's called, not de-skinning. Uh, alright, so... I guess I could go over here and just buy the rest of these, yeah. Why not? Why not? Might as well just go ahead and finish off your shop. Oh, it's just the Mark of Martyrdom left. I forgot I got... Yeah, I got all of the um, other thingies. Okay, well we can we can pick up on that next time because we still have a lot of map ex exploration to do. Um, so, but it seems like we are approaching the end of yet another Metroidvania. This one went by pretty quickly. It helps that uh, I actually 100%ed this one because I did not 100% Blasphemous One because it was a pain in the ass to return to old areas. So. <laughs> Alrighty, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.